In this topic, we will illustrate how a packet session is established. Differentiate between R99 and HSDPA session setup. Identify traffic flow in HSDPA and recognize the influence of mobility on the traffic flow. Let's examine a scenario which will help us navigate through the end-to-end -end call flow. Sue wants to browse the internet, so she initiates a data session. After the data session is set up, Sue would be communicating with the node B over the radio interface. In addition, the RAN would have assigned resources at the node B and the RNC for Sue's wireless internet session. Look at a conceptual call flow that highlights major steps necessary before Sue can start downloading a web page. Major entities that are involved in the call setup are the UE, UTRAN, and 3GSGSN. The first step is the establishment of a signaling connection between the UE and UTRAN. This is an RRC connection and it helps UE to exchange messages with the UTRAN. The attach procedure is carried out so that the 3GSGSN knows which RNC is responsible for the given UE. An IUPS signaling connection between the RNC and 3GSGSN helps them exchange messages. The UE is authenticated by the 3GSGSN with the help of the HLR Authentication Center. The RNC and Node B just transfer the messages without inspecting the message contents. The UE sends a PDP context activation message. This message includes the requested QoS and a request for an IP address. The UTRAN works with 3GSGSN and evaluates the QoS request against the available resources. If resources are available, call setup continues and a radio bearer and IU bearer are established. If adequate resources are not available, the call is blocked. The UE is now given an IP address that is determined by the GGSN. The QoS granted to the UE by the network is also conveyed to the UE. The call setup is over and traffic packets can start flowing in the uplink and the downlink. Sue is now ready for web browsing. The basic call setup process is the same for both Release 99 and Release 5. Since the HSDPA operation requires the UE to monitor the HSSCCHs, relevant information is conveyed to the UE by the UTRAN in the radio bearer setup message. Furthermore, the radio bearer can now include the HSDSCH in addition to regular Release 99 channels. After the call setup is over, an end-to-end -end link between Sue's UE and the WWW server is established when Sue initiates a web browsing session. In the downlink direction, the packet data flows from the WWW server all the way up to UE. Sue is browsing CNN's web page when her doorbell rings. Sue's neighbor, Mary, wants Sue to accompany her to a shopping mall. Since Sue is in the middle of viewing a CNN news story, she takes the laptop with her and hops into the passenger seat of Mary's minivan. Sue's UE is communicating with node BA while she is browsing the CNN webpage. As Sue travels, the best cell changes, resulting in an inner node B handover. Sue's UE stops the high-speed operation with the old cell served by node BA and starts communicating with a new cell served by node BB. During this cell switching process, the session remains unaffected and Sue continues to read the CNN webpage.